All right. And it looks like we are live here today. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Daily Digital. My name is Junior and appears today is Wednesday, August the 10th. And I got a couple of good, I would say great articles to share with you here today. Not only that, I have the word of the week again. Today is Wednesday, so we got the word of the week. And so the first thing that I want to chat with you guys here today is about AR and how Apple is basically shifting things or I don't want to say shifting things because it's, it's again, it's been going around for a while, but they've been actually been posting it or boosting it up quite a bit here. Uh, the AR world is definitely booming. The next thing would be about Binance, uh, Binance Marketplace. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that. And the next thing after that will be a company called Face Cake, who is really doing something different with the AR space and uh, basically allowing everybody to kind of get a piece of the pie. Uh, and then the last one I'm going to be talking about here is a company called Clip Drop. And um, I'm actually excited about showing this one to you guys and kind of not excited. I'll tell you why here shortly. But uh, definitely stay tuned. We'll jump right back into it. All right. So the first thing off the block that we have here is Apple. Apple is getting into the augmented reality space. Um, are they have already been getting to augmented reality space? As you can see here on their header. They're kind of showing a few different ways they're using it. Again, each one of these people are, have a tablet. They're just using augmented reality to do all of this cool stuff that they're doing here. Um, I'm going to just scroll down a little bit. What if the line between your imagination and the real world didn't exist? With augmented reality, not only is that possible, it's actually here. AR transforms how you work, learn, play, shop, and connect with the world around you. It's the perfect way to visualize things that would be impossible or impractical to see otherwise. Apple has the world's largest AR platform with hundreds of millions of AR enabled devices, as well as thousands of AR apps on the App Store. And because Apple hardware and software are designed with the ground from the ground up for AR, there is no better way to experience it. All right, I kind of have to read that one, how they said it or how they wrote it. Um, so yeah, so as you can see here, they've got clips, uh, AR spaces in which, hey, you can actually do stuff like this. So just imagine um, this being your birthday. You want to spr spruce it up a little bit here and there for social media. You can bring us some AR technology into it, add it to the video, and voila. Uh, Snapchat, Snapchat filters, we all know have been going around for quite some time. I'll, I'll replay this here. This lady has no idea what she is or what's going on around her. Um, but yeah, so you can actually do all of that stuff. Put yourself into some sort of magical garden or forest. Um, they have AR key, R key, I guess. Uh, this is more for architects, it looks like. So you can bring in and visualize different architectural projects that you might have going on. Uh, Minecraft Earth here. If you play Minecraft, this might be uh, quite a bit beneficial for you, but you can bring in your uh, real life Minecraft into your uh, physical world, I would say. Uh, oh, a time capsule here. This one's actually pretty cool. Time capsule takes you back in time. Uh, DSLR camera. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you could take this and put words between people, around people, in front, behind them. I mean, it just it really just masks everything out uh, perfectly. This is. This is one I actually plan to download here. Surely I got to like reduce the stuff on my phone because it's a lot on there. Um, this game called Hot Lava you can get on the App Store as well. Turn your living room into a little playground. If you have children, this would be like super fun for them to do. 
They already play like the floor is lava game anyway. Uh, Apollo's moon shot AR. You can see some of that. Uh, I think this is one I've actually talked about. Ikea Place. Ikea and Walmart both have like AR technology going on. Where you can actually place stuff into your real room. I mean, that's just that's just amazing. From the lights from the, in the ceiling and everything. Uh, AR Quick Look. So you can kind of see stuff right inside your web browser. Uh, AR Quick Look gives you instant access to AR experiences in Safari, messages, and mail. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen it in messages. Interesting. Uh, yeah, the Museum Alive. Okay, so this is probably like yeah, zoo animals and stuff like that. You can actually see all of that in AR. I think I mentioned uh, in another. Oh yeah, well that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so again they have all the hardware and software to make this all possible. I think I mentioned AR Kit before, which you can actually uh, a software you can actually create AR projects. Hardware they're just saying, hey, all of our cell phones and all of our tablets already have the. Um, LiDAR camera and capabilities already attached to it there. Um, yeah, and the new apps t t take advantage of power. AR are being developed all the time. Good, 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 good. Uh, AR Kit 5 and Rally Kit are cutting edge framework that make it easy uh, for developers to create captivating augmented reality experiences for iPhone and iPad. Um, So yeah, I think that is all I want to share with you guys on that. Uh, again, this is all really, 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 really interested in my book. So the next one here is going to be Binance. And Binance has uh, pretty much their own NFT marketplace. This is something I actually was not aware of. Uh, there's a couple of other ones that I've I've heard of, but never Binance, and I'm actually kind of surprised I did not hear about Binance NFT marketplace. Uh, so Binance NFT projects are now among the most demanded in the cryptocurrency industry. Uh, this article was it might be at the bottom. Just to make sure I give you good context here, this article came out at some point in time, I guess. Uh, it's not even on their site. You guys got to put like the dates and stuff. Anyways, uh, different projects and developers have created unique Binance NFT assets that are allowing this network to expand. In the next sections of this Binance NFT marketplace guide, we'll, we will be getting we will get into the details of trading NFTs in the Binance ecosystem and how the whole non fungible token industry has been growing. Uh, over the course of the past last few years. Uh, I'm not going to go over this entire article. I just want to show you guys a few things here, uh, which is one thing here, smart chain, but Binance smart chain is one of the largest and most efficient blockchain networks in the industry that is uh, letting users engage with different NFT sellers. This is possible due to the existence of a major Binance NFT marketplace that focuses on digital assets, NFTs, sales, and more. The BSC is faster, cheaper, and more reliable compared to other networks in the network in the market. Therefore, a smart contract that runs on BSC would be faster and more efficient than a smart contract running on another blockchain network, namely Ethereum. Um, they don't have a link to it though. I gotta find the actual marketplace. Uh, okay, so what is the NFT marketplace? I'm not gonna go over that. Best Binance NFT marketplace. One is called Binance NFT. Uh, the Binance NFT is the most popular one on top of Binance. This marketplace is free and can be used throughout the whole Binance ecosystem. Users will find Binance NFT a very easy to use platform and marketplace. Another one is Vendly. Vendly, I guess. Uh, another one is Refinable. It's another marketplace that you can use to trade NFTs on the BSC. Uh, the platform is backed by Binance Company and other investors, such as Mr. Beast, one of the most popular YouTubers. 
Um, okay. So these are the best NFT collections on Binance. Uh, some of the most popular collections include CryptoPunks or Board at Yacht Club. You can officially buy CryptoPunks on Binance in seconds if you find the right NFT marketplace. CryptoPunks collection was one of the most popular in recent years. Uh, the total amount of projects launching new NFT sales for BNB continues to grow. Uh, the Board at Yacht Club is also among the most popular sales on Binance Smart Chain Network. I think this is an older article because the way they're talking is like B-A-Y-C -S and all that. And I think that is all it. Um, yeah, three top three reasons why Binance NFT marketplaces are better than others. It has cheap transactions, it has fast transactions, and there are unique NFT collections. Um, pretty much everything is <laughs> unique nowadays. So, yeah, I think this is definitely an older article. I can't, I'm not sure the date though, but. Uh, so, yeah, the main thing about this is really just kind of showing you guys the uh, Binance marketplace. Again, some people may not know uh, the way they talk about it in the media. OpenSea is really the only. Uh, marketplace out there that's available and you know that's never really the case uh, they may be one of the largest ones out there um, marketing money stuff like that they got pushed really far but finance maybe one to actually look into um, so next up we have the word of the week and the word of the week is fidgetal uh, p-h-y-g-i-t-a-l and fidgetal just basically means well it's a combination of two words physical and digital and it's a marketing term that describes blending digital experiences with physical ones um, as the channels of customer interaction and communication proliferate companies aim to make combining these channels frictionless and seamless enabling a customer to make a phone call then communicate in a social media platform then send an email without the company losing the thread of the communication or a sense of the customer issues associated with the customer account record. Uh, sometimes referred to as an omni-channel customer experience, companies know companies now have a have a mandate to bridge the gap to reduce customer friction, frustration, and churn. Physical experiences can add value by uh, enhancing physical experiences with information but augmenting digital experiences with human connections or physical enhancements. Uh, and it talks about like how this has already been going on, which is a, a funny way to look at it. But uh, some airlines, airlines are now using social media to create digital experiences where they become aware that a passenger is traveling on an airline. Then they greet the passenger at, in the airport and present him or her with a gift from a loyalty points. Uh, also with Internet of Things, sensors may be able to proactively detect a car or a refrigerator that needs service and send a technician without requiring a customer to even schedule an appointment. Uh, retail stores are also piling devices such as smart mirrors, which make uh, which may make more which may make other outfit suggestions or provide information on other colors, sizes, uh, once a tag is scanned. Uh, so these are all like different examples of digital. Um, again, this is just bringing digital aspects into our physical world. Kind of what all this show is about, making sure that we are aware of the digital stuff that's going on in our physical world and so on and so forth. Um, just like this company over here called Facecake, um, well, let me first go to Facecake website. And I'm going to play this video. I don't think I have a video. I'm going to play this video and they can kind of like describe to you exactly what Facecake is and how they operate and what they do.
next up as retailers race to integrate in-store and online shopping, the fashion and beauty industries are actively seeking ways to enhance and personalize the shopping experience. And a company we saw at CES called Facecake is giving shoppers interactive mobile access to the best of both worlds. Basically, they've created an augmented reality retail platform available on mobile devices in-store and online that not only allows you to virtually try on an item in real time, but also to easily find products and share selfies with friends. Now, they've got quite a few products to check out, the first being Swivel, a full-body virtual dressing room, really cool, that's also engaging and super easy to use. Now, next is their digital beauty bar, which is geared towards cosmetics and hairstyles, but what we really want to highlight is Shade Scout. It's a color search app that matches products to any color you see. So let's say you are outside, it's a beautiful day, you see a beautiful flower that inspires you, you can just whip out your phone, launch the app, and point the camera at that color, and it will then try and find makeup in any category from major and luxury brands to match it. And it wouldn't be face cake without a real-time virtual try-on to see how the colors look on you. Now, this product is free to download on iOS devices, so you can just head over to the App Store and type in ShadeScout or Facecake.com you can visit to learn more. Thank you, my good sir. Um, so yeah, so this is facecake.com. You can kind of just go to their website and check out all of the cool stuff that they offer. Uh, but what I wanted to mention was that uh, Facecake, along with company.com, are collaborating on a self-serve AR commerce. Uh, and what I believe this actually means, so this article is not very clear. It's pretty vague on what they mean by this. Uh, they say it's the first to market AR self-serve capability will provide instant and easy signups options with au automated onboarding, making the integration of Facecake's immersive AR technology a frictionless process. Uh, regardless of the size of the retailer or brand, the company says he, um, said that on Wednesday, July 27th. Um, the platform is expected to launch uh, fourth quarter of this year. And I, this was, yeah, so this was, this article was written in 2022, so yeah, so the fourth quarter of this year is like next month, so we'll see what actually happens. It's in October, uh, the four, fourth quarter starts. Uh, this is an exciting new application f of our platform, and the technology is right up our wheelbase. Uh, yeah, the companies say their offering includes... Face cakes, AR virtual try on for products, glasses, cosmetics. So yeah, so I think I think the it's not very clear as to how exactly or what they exactly are doing, but I think what's going on is that essentially they're going to basically let other companies use their technology in order to create the same augmented experience for their customers and consumers and stuff like that. Uh, so, for example, if you are a cosmetics brand, you sell your own line of makeup or something like that, you will be able to allow your customers to um, essentially try on virtually or with augmented reality, try on your different products and stuff like that, uh, basically through that Face Cake uh, app or website, or I'm not sure, that it doesn't really say exactly what they're creating i'm not sure if it's going to be piggybacked onto face cakes website or are they doing something new uh, along with company.com it's kind of kind of vague on what's going on here but um i would definitely say just keep an eye on this especially if you're into e-commerce uh if you're a brand you have a whole bunch of products and stuff like that keep an eye on face cake uh because they i mean they've got it going on right now as far as like ar technology and stuff so um yeah so the last thing that i have here again i mentioned to you guys that i'm kind of afraid to show this to you uh because of how powerful it is uh but i'm a generous person i don't mind sharing the information as you see i have this whole show about sharing information so a company called clip drop is allowing you to basically i mean this is this is this is just wonderful so basically you can take stuff from your real world so like say for example you had a couch uh in your real world you take a picture of it but then you actually want to put that inside of a ad that you're doing like a a, a you know a photo shoot or something like that and uh, you need to photoshop it so you can take that picture that you just took with your phone and instantly drop it into photoshop just i mean this is amazing just watch this uh is this the video i was watching hold on let me see i feel like it was a 
think it's this video down here. Uh, I'm actually, I'm gonna play this video up here just to see what this is, but I think it's the other video. Okay, so you can remove background, you can remove other stuff. You can make images sharper. You can change background lighting and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't that video. It was definitely this video. Um, you kind of see the whole process of how this person is doing this. Or maybe not. Uh, okay. Uh, so essentially, as I mentioned. So, okay. So you'll see it here also. So they just took an image of that plant. And they just place it on this ad that they're doing right there. They're now taking an image of this plant. Boom. Grab the image. Cool. Let's bring it right over to this computer. Place it right there. Boom. Looks good. Now we're going to take a picture of this entire board here. Boom. Grab that. Move it over. We're going to put it on the left side this time. Boom. Drop it in. And there we go. So now each and every single item that I just took a picture of, they just went ahead and placed it directly into their workspace that they're working on on their computer. This is compatible with Photoshop, it's compatible with Figma, and you can use Android and iPhone for it as well. Um, yeah, this is, this is powerful. If you are in marketing, um, I mean, you can essentially like create anything with this and i mean all from your phone pretty much and then especially with like the background eraser and um i don't even know what to call it is this like clean up stuff or whatever so you can just remove stuff from different images i mean i mean just imagine like watermarks uh you could take off a watermark off of something as well um you can use it for e-commerce you can use it for real estate to like staging and stuff like that you can use it for car so this car was probably on the street someplace and then they just place it in this beautiful background team portraits um, this is probably like in a office building or whatever and they just took out the background for that as well um, so yeah so this is wait did the video come up I don't know if you guys see the video but I'm gonna just refresh it and see what happens Watch a two-minute video. We're not going to watch the whole two minutes, but... Let's add some elements to this mood board using ClipDrop. First, let's load the mobile app, and let's take a picture of our jacket. Yes, take a picture of the jacket. And adjust the viewport, tap to take the picture, and just like that, we have our jacket. And now I can paste it anywhere I want on this document. Let's say, for instance, here. And there it okay. is. It's been imported. And then here at this part, I'll adjust it. Remove, yeah. for instance, this. Removing part. background. Maybe that part as well. Removing all of that stuff. Adjust the edges a little bit. The contrast. Of... Let's put it here. Resized it, made okay. it smaller. Now let's add a sketch from the sketchbook of the same collection. Taking it from the sketchbook. Boom. So again, I frame it tap and now I can paste it I mean like look at that for instance it's like here. wonderful jump Let's back over to the computer a little bit. want to resize it instance a fox so I go on the web and search for fox image straight from the computer yes great I'm so assuming they're going to the take out the drop. background of it and see how the hair has been preserved nicely on the tail here and hair is one of the things that's hard to and simply drag and drop our fox on the mood board. Hair is really hard to preserve. Scale it no quote or poem. So let's go back on the web. Oh yeah, you could do text also. Poem autumn. And let's search poem autumn. This time we'll go again on the clip drop icon. But we select text, and this will extract the text from any image. For instance, there. I can simply now copy it to the clipboard. Go back to Photoshop, get the text tool, and paste it. And 
<laughs> I mean, just just clap it up for whoever came out with Clip Drop. Um, you really did something for people who do advertisement marketing and stuff like that. I mean, that was just amazing. Um, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about that. I haven't tried it myself. I haven't used it. But if they got integrations for Photoshop and integrations for Figma um, already on Android, already on iOS, uh, I think think they would probably be in good standings as far as like everything working properly and stuff like that um so yeah that, that's 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 one of the ones that i'm just like excited for uh being a digital creator myself it's uh it's quite amazing to see some of the things that people come up with um yeah so uh that is all i have for you guys here today i hope you do enjoy this episode I uh, hope you enjoyed all the different things that we've talked about. Please do let me know how you feel about them in the comments below. Uh, if you want to do a little bit more research on your own, all the links is going to be in the description as well. My name is Junior. All my social media handles and stuff like that are in the bottom of the description as well. Uh, and that's it. Um, today is Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed the word of the week, Vigital. And if you have any more information on it, just contact me. Uh, if not, you guys have a good one and I'll check you guys later.